Hey everybody, this uh, daily devotional today comes to you as part of a three-part series. I'm going to do three days in a row. This is the first one coming from the chicken coop. It's an interesting thing about these chickens. When, they, when the sun starts to go down at night and they realize that they need to go to safety because at night there's predators like foxes and uh, opossums and different animals that would want to eat them. They come instinctively. You don't have to tell them to. They run to the chicken coop. It's their place of fortress. It's their place of safety. And so late in the evening, they'll come running in here. We'll shut the door and lock them in. And they know that they're safe and they know they're secure. David writes about this in Psalm 31. In fact, it's titled, The Lord, a fortress in adversity. The Lord is our fortress. He is our strong tower. The Bible says in verse 1, In you, O Lord, I put my trust. In these unsettling times that we're dealing with, with the coronavirus and all that's going on in the world today, the uncertainty of the, of the economy and so forth, isn't it good to know that we can put our trust in Almighty God? David writes and says, I put my trust in you, O God. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Deliver us from the coronavirus. Deliver us from the negative effects. He says in verse 2, bow down your ear to me. That means let your ear get close enough to my lips that you can clearly understand what it is I'm praying and asking for. He says, deliver me speedily. That's what we're praying. We're praying God deliver us speedily from the coronavirus. That it, God would eradicate it from the, from the face of the earth. Speedily, in a hurry, we're asking for his mercy. We're asking him. According to verse 2, be my rock of refuge. Be my rock. Rock there is a clear allusion to Jesus Christ. Aren't you glad to know in these unsettling times that we can go to our rock, Jesus Christ, and he can be our stable place? Just like this chicken coop is a stable fortress for these chickens, so our God is a stable fortress for us. He says a fortress, verse 2, a fortress of defense to save me. He is our fortress. In two verses, we've already heard fortress now twice. He says in verse 3, For you are my rock and my fortress. Again, God is our stable fortress in these unsettling times. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Verse 4, Pull me out of the net which they have secretly laid for me, for you are my strength. And then he says in verse 6, I will trust in the Lord. Aren't you glad to know that just like the chickens here on this farm have a safe fortress to run to, a rock of safety at night when predators want to eat them, so we have a fortress, a rock in Christ Jesus that we can go to to protect us, to bring safety. When these chickens come in here at night, they don't worry about what's going to happen. They're safe. They're secure. They go in back there and they sleep and they're settled. That's what God wants to do for us. He wants to settle us. He wants to be our rock and our refuge. Will you run to him, the fortress, Christ Jesus today? Fortresses were made of rock in high places back when David's day. And if you've been to Israel, you've seen Masada. It is that high place. So I want to encourage you, run to Christ Jesus. Run to the presence of God. Let God be your chicken coop. Let him be your place of fortress. Hey, I want you to share this daily devotional with your friends and family. Listen, Robert Morris has had 195,000 people see his service last week. Normally in attendance, he only has 35,000. We only say only. That's a big church, obviously. But he has exponential growth through this online church. Uh, Craig Rochelle had 15,000 people saved last week. Normally he has 1,000 saved a weekend, which is astonishing, but he had 15 times that amount. Hey, save these so your friends and family will see them. Maybe they'll turn to Christ Jesus. God bless you, and we'll see you for part two of this tomorrow.